Welcome back to Kaitelli's Lab, guys on YouTube. You know what? I just have to say this right here. I wish I was at PAX East. I wish I was at a PAX. I wish I was at something there, man, because this looks so cool. There's so many games. So many games, and I feel like every single day, too, my plan was to go here and just go up to, a, you know, 10 games, 15 games, 20 games. I'm doing almost all these games. Be ready for it. I'm going to go through these trailers and gameplay footage of these games because I can't be here. I can't be there live. So I got to I'm stuck here watching that stuck here, but I'm here watching these uh, these videos of all the games I would love to get hands on with. Hopefully, knock on wood, I get hands on with at PAX West before they release. Even after they release, I don't care. I want to play these games because it looks so freaking cool. Let's do it. First one's Elden Path Forgotten. Let's just watch this trailer real fast and see what it's all about. Because I've seen it before on an IO or Alphabetic Gamer on Twitter. I've seen, I've seen it here and there, but I'm not sure if I've seen the full trailer. All the scene are cut scenes here and there and just pictures and screenshots. Here we go. Okay. Love the art design so far. Very cool. Okay, whoa. Oh! Whoa. The art looks so familiar to me. I feel like I've played this game before, like a demo. This looks so cool. I love pixel art for indie games. I don't know what's going on here. Did she sacrifice or something? Oh, it's him doing that. I guess it's a roguelike game. That could do those mo. What the hell? Did she become. Oh my god, that's so creepy. Hello? It's a very short trailer. Cool, so it's coming up for Steam, Switch. PS4, Xbox One. Okay, okay, okay. Nice, nice. Oh, there's more. There she is. <laughs> so she did some incantation to go through a portal and, and came out of it some crazy, grotesque, crystallized monster. That is weird. It's strange. I don't know what's going on, but it's pretty cool. So it's adventure, action, indie, RPG, very violent, gory game. The game feels kind of like Children of Morta mixed with like a Soulsborne edge. I thought it'd be more roguelike, but I guess it's not. And thing is, another indie, this uh, the, the publishers of the game, uh, they have I think, two or three other games at PAX East that they published. We're gonna look at it right now. Here's the summary here. Guide Elden on a mission across blighted land to save their mother from ancient horrors. Engage in brutal technical combat and master Eldritch magics as you walk the forgotten path. Okay, and it says, when the old ones awaken is when it comes out, meaning Minor Damn Business is coming out when we want it to come out. You go. You go, another indie. All right, next game is Jack X. This one looks awesome because my, my heart has always been bleeding over retro games, and this game looks like a beautiful, highly high-definition uh, rendered uh, SNES video game. Platformer, which platformers are awesome. I love platformers so much. This one's B Jack and Nax take Jack and her sisters on an axe tossing single multiplayer platforming adventure in a vibrant open world inspired by Filipino and Norse mythology, love lore kind of games. Love when they draw upon that uh, mythology and lore and theories. That's cool. And different kind of culture. Let's see what the game looks like. I'm sure I'll like it. I already put it on my wish list. This one also another indie published. There we go. Let's do it. This game looks adorable. The pixel graphics, man. Oh, it's so cool. It's like you're throwing Molnir and grabbing again. That is awesome. That all oh, little Celeste action there. Inspired by Donkey Kong. Like it. Like it. This is so good. I'm gonna have so much fun playing this game. Little Mario there. The thwomps. You can tell the influences in this game. Oh, this is cool, man. The boss battles. Of course on Switch. It has to be. I always say this. All platform games belong on Switch. Platform indie games, retro games should be on the Switch. And it always... It's a perfect marriage. It really is. But this game's cool, man. And of course, the release date is when it's shiny and polished. Good for you guys. 
put it out when the game is absolutely ready. I'm hoping, ho probably, I'm guessing a 2021 date, and probably not hoping that 2022. That's too far away for me to enjoy my fantastically polished and beautiful, you know, indie platform games. Please, another indie. All right, put out another indie for us, you know. <laughs> so, okay. This one is Disc Room. Now, this one I always saw, again, screenshots, screenshots Saturday on, on uh, Twitter and Instagram was all I saw from this game, and it already looked cool. The art design alone looks beautiful. I like it a lot. So this one has a pretty epic description. Are you ready to get sliced in half? The year is 2089. Giant disc has appeared in orbit of Jupiter. That'd be creepy, wouldn't it? You go all the way to Jupiter. I wonder what it, what it feels like. Your hand goes off. It's gone, it's sliced off, and it's all the, way, all the way in space. You can't get it back. Step into the oversized space suit of a brave scientist and explore the sprawling intergalactic slaughterhouse. That's intense, dude. That's incredible. This game, oh my gosh. I already, no, no one I love this game so much. My favorite publisher of all times on it. Evolver Digital published this game. <sighs> it's also a prayer for the Evolver Digital guy. There's so here we go. Okay, okay. Giant disc discovered in the orbit of Jupiter. Or would you want to go on top of it though? It's giant, well, giant, giant disc, you're a scientist, I get it. You want to try to explore everything. Okay, you're curious by nature. Oh, so you run around and avoid discs? Of death? Probably for a time, the amount of time. Kind of like killer chambers, but with discs. Of saws in your face. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna die a lot in this game. I already know it. Disc room. The Volvo Digital. Oh, I love them. <gasps> Mystery abounds. Who is that? Who knows? I don't know. I'm pretty sure uh, this is gonna be one of the funniest, weird, strangest games ever. The first time the demo comes out, I'm playing it. But I'm pretty sure it's another game I'm gonna play because I'm a masochist for games. I always play this kind of games where it's challenging and you can die at any time, any place, anywhere. And I do it multiple times to just get, to get it right. Just to be the best. This game looks good. Very good, very good. Okay, one, one more, one more pun, one more pun. This game looks quite sharp. Huh? See, come on, it's right on the lines of the... Whatever, I thought it was funny. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. The Artful Escape. I've been following this game and hoping, because what happened was, this what happened background here. The Kickstarter campaign for Art Artful Escape was not uh, fully funded. I don't know why the game looks fantastic. The preview of it was awesome. They had this one thing where he, the developer put it online where you can make your own beats based on the game. And that was fantastic. One of my highest viewed videos on my channel. It was really, really fun to watch. And people just, from that went and made their own beats and put on YouTube. It was cool. The story is fantastic. I think it's the same story, even though they did get picked up by Annapurna Interactive. By the way, another great publisher. So thank you, Annapurna, for picking them up. It used to be called the Artful Escape of Francis Vendetta but now it's called the Awful Escape. Short, short name. Uh, Francis Venditti, he's trying to get out of the shadow of a famous folklore singer. And it was like, I think his grandpa or his uncle or his dad, one of those two, but he's trying to get out of his, the shadow of his family who was very famous before him, trying to make his, find his own voice. So this is a game pretty much that was advertised as a game, an adventure to find out who you are not, to discover who you are. It sounds great. You should see the full-length trailer. This is so cool. Beethoven and Dinosaur, that's, that's her name. The developer. <laughs> that's an awesome name. And it for an interactive, one of the best publishers ever. They did a great job with this game, man, so far. Well, the design is different. Enhanced the design of the game. Oh, yeah, the background's so nice, it's like you're in a Dr. Seuss book. Fueled by the power of rock. Look at that. I don't know what the hell he's on right now, but I'd, I'd be on it too. That's a cool fight. Think, think of Guitar Hero and Hollow Knight having a baby. That's what this is. It's absolutely beautiful. The Artful Escape. Please, 
come out in the summertime or sometime soon. I really, really want to try this out. I really do because this one's special in my heart. I've been waiting for because three years ago, I actually put forth fifteen dollars to support the the Kickstarter campaign, and it wasn't fully funded. I was so sad. And I was going to my very first E3, I believe. Yeah. Oh no. Oh my God. Like five years ago, my very first second E3. And I thought it'd be fully funded, but it wasn't. And they even said I was following their their blog and I was following their their um their Kickstarter campaign and the Patreon page too. I did I did you know, donate to that as well. Try to help them out. And they said we'll get back to you when we find a publisher. Found one, dropped one, found one again, and there was absolute silence for the longest time. And then finally. Annapurna, our savior, comes along, scoops them up, and then boom, right here, 2020. Hey, man, you might have to wait a long time for your dreams, but when you find it, man, do not let it go. Not let it go, man. The more you know. Okay, this one, Cloud Punk, has been being, being played all weekend so far. All weekend. It's a neo noir, my favorite type of, you know, game, cyberpunk futuristic sci-fi so the neo-noir story in a range rent cyberpunk metropolis it's your first night on the job working for the cloud punk delivery service two rules don't miss the delivery and don't ask what's in the package you don't know you should know what it's in the package just do your job okay sam do your job sorry if your name is sam i apologize you're not a bad person i'm sure you do great at your job you don't ask questions and you uh, deliver everything you need to deliver. Good job, UPS driver, Sam. This game kind of reminds me of Dead Stranding and that like you're just delivering packages here and there. I'm sure there's gonna be a controversy somewhere in this game where a package drops somewhere or it kind of rips open. You get kind of like, like opening Pandora's box, like well, what's inside of it? What's inside the package? You shouldn't ask questions, but you should because you, as a human being, you're curious. I don't care what year it is. Give me 2089, give me 3055. You're a curious human being, you gotta know what the hell's not packaged. Look at Cloud Punk. Here we go. When I was a little girl, I used to look up at the sky and wonder. Not Konima, not Konami. I can't see the sky anymore. That's so cool. I love the design already, man. Beautiful design. Curious neon giants that's the colors, man. Neo Noir. And this will be a long night. My car hums between the never-ending billboards. They cast a spell. Guide me through the night. What makes this city isn't in the streets. It isn't on the news. It's the people that So live cool. Here. And the niggling fear that at the core of this place is a pulsing heart fueled by consumption. Hmm. They have to build up and up and up. Wow. Rain among the clouds. It's like Seattle, the game. I like the voxel design of the cars too, and of the buildings. Beautiful. I love the neon lights and everything. Let's go to the other one. Control, come in. This is, wait, is this channel receiving me? Uh, driver 14FC, this is Control. We read you. Is that you, Carmine? I noticed the main character's well, voice is okay. Is it's okay. Uh, you're the new kid. The voice acting. I'm the new driver, yeah. I read your references. You're a good driver. I'm looking but for navigating some kind of controversy. The like with, the, with the package delivery. Back home. Now, this city goes down a hundred miles and up a thousand. Is that kind of like Bioshock Infinite? Everything gets built up into a utopia. Paint on the surface utopia. Of the river. The current of people and ideas and the crowds, they, they wash everything away. I'll make it. Sure you will, kid. Just try making it through tonight first. Hmm. Okay, Control. On my way. Uh, one more thing, 14 uh -oh. FC. Welcome to Cloudpunk. <laughs> Cloudpunk, man! Looks so cool. I love it. Love it. Love it. Yes, sir. Come in spring 2020. I can't wait to play it. Just a game that you can just relax and enjoy. It's not one of those. I don't think it's one of those like crazy, like controversial. It might be. It, I'm, I'm, it might be. I'm hoping it's going to be some kind of controversy with the package delivery. You pick up the wrong package or dealing with the wrong people. Or there's something that goes on to where it's like 
you hear, you're conflicted about, should I deliver this package? It might kill someone, it might hurt someone, it might harm someone if I do this. But if I don't do it, I'm going, I'm going against my job and I might get fired. Who knows? Or it might affect your decisions in the game. But we'll see. This game looks fantastic. I love it. Cloud Punk. Next one. Oh, snaps. Oh, snaps. Another, um, I'm going to say another take on the retro platforming uh, co-op genre here on the indie games by Graffiti Games, developed by Creative Graffiti Games. And... Oh, snaps. I didn't know this game existed until I found the page for PAX East on Steam. So thank you. Again, thank you. Discovering indies is like discovering five bucks on your couch or in your pocket or in the dryer. It's so cool, man. Get spend it. Get some candy. But this right here, you, you already know the game's gonna be difficult. When it says death is a part of the adventure. You're gonna die a lot in this game. But you're gonna be damn grateful because you get to learn through death. Like all great difficult kind of games. As myself a mascot for gaming, I would love to lay down my rage on the line for this game. <laughs> Let's go into it. Oh, those are war wars, man. Look at this. And magic. I'm a I miss Dreamhack, too. It's okay. To disrupt the balance. This looks like an SNES game. Humanity's last hope is too <laughs> You're playing baseball with a well, bee's nest? Apprentice wizards. They must work together. Nice. Go up, game. Save the kingdom. Yep. <laughs> At least they have the power to I love it. This is so good. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> That's why death is part of the adventure. I get it. <laughs> Technically, that is a dragon. That's awesome. We're doomed. Oh man, five realms, unique monsters. Looks great. Single co-op and co-op play. A thousand ways to die. I'll find every single way to die, dude. Trust me. Res, please. Like res, please. Rest me, please. Kind of thing. That's a great idea for a game. Oh my goodness, yes. Another one here. Back to back. Let's go. Let's see it. To defeat an evil that now rules our land. They will need teamwork. There we go. See, look, 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 look. All right. Lost magic with the J. That's awesome. And death. A lot of death, dude. Let's see it. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God. Jesus, man. Oh, my goodness. It's like, sorry, Nara. Let me go die. <laughs> Respless. I will not forget this game at all. This is awesome. Okay, when's it coming out? Q1 2020? Okay. Q1 2020, so eh, March-ish or early April, hopefully. This game looks funny as hell. Uh, I'm hoping it's, it's on the line. Is it LAN? It's LAN. Okay, it's local It's local uh, co-op. Even it, That's fine. That's fine. Or remote play together. Remote play and uh, LAN co-op. Cool. I'm going to get a friend. We're going to play together. We're going to have fun. It's going to be a great co-op stream game on Twitch. Yes, I'm on Twitch right there, my friends. Shameless plug. I'm not ashamed. This one is Colt Canyon. Already sounds like a, a beautiful Western game. So shoot your way through a hostile canyon full of hidden treasures, weapons, obstacles, and all kinds of bloodthirsty scum. Colt Canyon is a stylish pixel art, love it, pixel art shooter with roguelike elements in real time combat where you save your kidnapped partner from the ruthless bandits. Kind of like the back in the old days of the Westerns, man. You're cool, rootin', tootin', shootin'. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I said that whole sentence. Anyways, you are a Western badass. It goes through rescuing damsels and the stress or your friends or anybody. All right, here we go. Immersive, wild, west, roguelite. That is pixel to perfection, man. Oh. Yeah, this looks awesome. A little confusing, I get lost of who you are. Maybe they should have him, if he can change outfits, make him a little, little darker shade, or the, or the, the enemies darker shade. Because if everyone's a light shade of white, it's kind of hard to see, see who you are in the game. But we'll see. Oh, you pick up new guns as we go along. Nice. Nice melee attacks. Explosions, of course. This looks so good. I can see myself playing this game getting angry 
Might rage quit it and come back to it again. There she is. Colt Canyon. Nice. Looks good. Like I said, I still think either the character himself should be red or the enemy should be red or a di different tint of color because if everyone is like a white shade or a dark shade or any kind of same color shade, it's going to be hard. Maybe it's, part, maybe it's part of the difficulty, but it's going to be hard to decipher who's who on the battlefield. If you get used to it, I guess you can get used to it. But I just think a small little, like I guess, hopefully they put it in the game where you can change the color of your character. So you don't get confused who you are, man. I don't want to be like, oh, that's me over there. Oh, no, I'm dead. There I am on the ground, bleeding. Just colts everywhere. Weapons there. Blown up here. You know, that kind of stuff.